added with TLC TLC stands for Thin Layer Chromatography. It can be used to identify the purity of a compound by comparing polarity. First off, let's talk about how TLC plates first work. Firstly, we're going to use a stationary phase or a silica plate which is highly polar. In doing this, the more polar compound will stick closer to the TLC plate while developing solvent will sweep the less polar solvent upstream. We must prepare the silica plate. So in order to do this, we are first going to cut the corners of the silica plate off on one end. This allows capillary action to more quickly move up the plate with the developing solvent. Then we will carefully draw a line across the bottom with pencil. Pencil can break the silica, so be sure to lightly draw the line. Then carefully draw little tick marks where sample will be placed. Second, we must pick a developing solvent. For our example, we are going to use 10% ethyl acetate hexane. We have to remember that what, whatever developing solvent we pick cannot dissolve the compound we're using. If it were to completely dissolve our compound, then the compound would be washed away and nothing would stick to the TLC plate and we would have no marks. Okay, next we must prepare our sample. For this, we are going, for our demonstration, we are using fluorinide and fluorinone. They can both be dissolved in methyl chloride, so as you can see with these three samples, we have dissolved them in a methylene chloride. Next, the plate, you can put the samples on the plate with that. This has to be done very carefully because using too much will blur and streak the plate. So gently take a capillary tube and get a little bit of sample on the end. one dot on the starting line tick mark that you drew previously. This procedure can be repeated for all three samples. So while she is finishing dotting the plate, let's talk about what each sample is. Our dot one is a florin note. That's the yellow color. It's a florin note. Our second sample is a florinine, and our third sample is a mixture of the two. So ideally, in samples one, we will see one dot, in sample two, we will see one dot, and in sample three, we will see, we will see two dots because it's a mixture of two compounds. Okay, now the plate is dotted. Now we are ready to develop our plate. Here is our developing jar. We have placed the solvent at the bottom, but it does not come past your starting line. We carefully place it in the jar, lean it back, put the cap on. Okay, after you wait for a while for your plate to develop, after it reaches about three quarters up, up the way, up the, excuse me, three quarters of the way up the plate, then it can be carefully removed. Immediately after removing, draw a pencil line along the top of the solvent. Now we will allow it to dry for just a second. Then we will use a UV light to tell where the dots are. This is exactly what we would expect to happen. Now we draw a pencil around each dot. Our values is the distance traveled by each individual sample, so from like here to here for sample one, divided by here, the starting line, to where the solvent ended. So higher RF values represent lower polarity. In conclusion, we have shown the basic process of TLC plates. They can be used to analyze the purity of different compounds, and we can see the polarity. Hope you enjoyed watching. Enjoy your Christmas.